line of Marx is a mucocutaneous junction. That's the transition between the non-keratinized conjunctival tissue and the dry keratinized tissue of the anterior eyelid margin. In normal individuals, this thin line will typically stain with fluorescein and lysamine green dyes. Corb and Blackie investigated an in-office procedure for symptomatic dry eye patients. They performed debridement scaling on patients meeting appropriate entrance criteria and found that after one treatment, patient symptoms improved by 21.6% over a one month time period when measured with a speed questionnaire. In the control group who didn't receive any treatment, there was no improvement in symptoms over the same time period. Inclusion criteria into the study was having a thickened line of marks greater than 0.2 millimeters and any part of the thickened line of marks being located anterior to the meibomian gland orifices. A normal line of marks is slightly elevated relative to the keratinized lid margin. As the line of marks thickens, as can be seen in the clinical pictures referenced from the study here, the height will also increase as well. Debridement scale Debridement scaling involves a two-step process. Initially, a metal golf spud is moved laterally along the line of marks on the lower eyelid. The second part of the procedure involves moving the golf spud laterally over the keratinized lid margin to remove any accumulated material obstructing or potentially obstructing meibomian gland orifices. Remember to assess the lid margin, including the line of marks, especially in symptomatic patients, for the presence of thickening. Consider debridement scaling as part of your treatment regimen for these patients. And utilize the form body club spud to perform this slit lamp procedure when appropriate. Doing so will allow you to treat these patients and provide them with better clinical outcomes. We hope that this has been clinically insightful.